happen if we do decide to inhabit Mars. After billions of years of evolution, Homo sapiens have evolved from apes to human beings, which we see today. As sad as it gets, there is a population explosion expected in the near future on Earth, making it impossible to live here. It is almost magical in so many ways how living beings evolve, how species change one form to another in order to adapt to the changing environment around them. This is called survival of the fittest, and the phenomenon of natural selection kicks in. According to the scientists, the planet which is closest to being habitable is Mars. In other words, Mars is our future home if someday we decide to send human beings to its territory. But would human beings be welcomed there? Not quite so. Space scientists who have lived for approximately one year away from Earth at the International Space Station have observed quite a few changes to their physiology. Due to weaker gravitational pull, their bones have weakened and there is an increase in the space between their vertebrae. So much so that it increases the height by two inches. Let us assume if we do decide to inhabit Mars, what would happen? Role of Evolution in Stage 1 Due to less oxygen, weaker gravitational pull, and huge amount of harmful radiation, either humans will perish or evolve into weaker versions of human beings with weaker bones and neurological disorders developing from shrinking brain size. Role of Evolution in Stage 2 if humans do survive stage 1, they might enter into the next stage of evolution where an opposite force starts playing its role. In order to adapt, humans will, over a period of a thousand years, become stronger with a lot of changes in physiology and genetic makeup. Role of Evolution in Stage 3 People speculate about the color of skin. Would it be the same? No. Would it turn green, red, yellow? Due to the huge amount of radiation on Mars, the skin would absorb a large quantity of the pigment keratin, commonly found in carrots, and as a result, humans might turn orange. That has a positive side too. Keratin helps fight against cancer. Role of Evolution in Stage 4 Due to thin atmosphere, Mars absorbs a huge amount of radiation, almost 5,000 times greater than Earth's atmosphere. This, in turn, will mutate the genetic profile and the DNA. It would also accelerate the process of evolution to about 10 times that found on Earth. Now the question is, after these four stages of evolution Homo sapiens go through, would they still remain human? Not quite so. Human beings on Mars would look and develop in a totally different manner than those on Earth. Would they be able to mate and produce offspring? Two living organisms with different genetic makeup cannot do either of these. The most important thing, how much money would it cost? Elon Musk says he is confident moving to Mars will, one day, cost less than $500,000 and maybe even cost below $100,000. While the final cost is very dependent on the volume of travelers, Musk said that the cost of moving to Mars will be low enough that most people in advanced economies could sell their home on Earth and move to Mars if they want. The median home price in the U.S. is $223,900, according to Zillow. Very dependent on volume, but I'm confident moving to Mars, return ticket is free, will one day cost less than $500,000 and maybe even below $100,000 low enough that most people in advanced economies could sell their home on Earth and move to Mars if they wanted. The comment was part of a Twitter thread announcing the Raptor engine. The engine will power the rocket's travels to Mars, has achieved the power level needed for Starship and Super Heavy. Raptor just achieved power level needed for Starship and Super Heavy. The Starship is the rocket, formerly called the BFR rocket, that SpaceX is building to go to Mars. The Raptor is the rocket engine that SpaceX is making to power the Starship. The Starship will have seven Raptor engines, and the booster that launches the rocket ship, called Super Heavy, will have 31 Raptor engines, a SpaceX spokesperson tells CNBC Make It. 
The aspirational goal for SpaceX is to send the first rocket to Mars with cargo only in 2022, according to SpaceX's website. The second mission, which will take more cargo and crew, is aiming to go in 2024. The objectives for the first mission will be to confirm water resources, identify hazards, and put in place initial power, mining, and life support infrastructure, the SpaceX website says. The second mission has primary objectives of building a propellant depot and preparing for future crew flights. The ships from these initial missions will also serve as the beginnings of the first Mars base from which we can build a thriving city and eventually a self-sustaining civilization on Mars. In an article published in academic journal New Space in 2017, Musk also compared the price of a trip to Mars to buying a house. At the time, he estimated trips to Mars would cost about $140,000 per ton, taking into account transporting things like luggage, food, and life support. But he said at the time the cost could potentially drop to below $100,000 a ton. It gets to the point where almost anyone, if they saved up and this was their goal, could buy a ticket and move to Mars. And given that Mars would have a labor shortage for a long time, jobs would not be in short supply, he said. Musk has said there is a 70% chance he himself will go to Mars once SpaceX gets the price per ticket to maybe around a couple hundred thousand dollars, he told Axios in a November interview. For more interesting videos, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.